Good morning. How are you? Thank you so much. This is a wonderful time having public for sure and God loves you. Uh, we're having a wonderful text today and that is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 to verse 18. The Bible says rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. We've been having a series of our text of giving thanks to God this very month, the year 2021. It has been an awesome year. It has been an awesome moment of getting, receiving from God, knowing, growing of faith, and even many receiving salvation. And that's why We've got to give him thanks in every circumstance. It is the will of God for me, for you, to give thanks to God. And so this text of today urges to be people who are gratitude, who give God thanks. People who look back and see what God has done and they say thank you. People who see and acknowledge and accept God has done something in their life. And that is me and you. And I'm sure there is something. If you look back, if you check your life, there is so many things God has done that you've got to give him thanks. And that's why he deserves that. Because he's a great God. He's a wonderful God. And he loves you so much. And that's why even loving you is enough to give him thanks. Is enough to give him thanks. And that's why from verse 16, we're seeing this book of Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Verse 16 talks about rejoice always. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Not for anything, but for you, for me. For your life, for my life. And that's why we've got to give him thanks because he's a great God. He's a wonderful God. He's an awesome God. Here we are in the season of Christmas. And Christmas is a celebration time. We celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Awesome. We just also need to give thanks just for his birth. Because it's through him we are born again. Through him, our life has a different change, has a, dif a different dimension, has a different way of living, and that is the way of Christ Jesus. And so, Jesus loves you, and he really loves you so much. This Friday, I just thank God for your life, and for my life, and for things he's done in your life. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for my viewers' life. Thank you, Lord, for being great and awesome in him, in her, in this family. I pray that, Lord, let your peace reign, let your love reign, let your salvation reign, and let them know that you are a God and you are out for them, mighty Jesus. I thank you. I thank you in the glory for your name. In Jesus' name, amen. God loves you. Thank you. This public for sure, Minister PD. Enjoy your day.